Hey again. Um, Tommy's not in the video. Um, I thought I'd do the kid update with him, but he is out in the pool. So, like I said in the previous video about doing the remodel, that it's been raining a ton here. So, um, since it's been sunny today, Tommy wanted to get out and enjoy the pool. So, uh, as far as the kid update, uh, we have a 17 year old. I think I made a video uh, already when we first got him. Um, he is a foster child. Um, I use that in quotations because. Um, Basically, he's just in foster care because um, um, his biological parents didn't want him, um, gave them to his uh, grandparents. Uh, long story with the whole grandparents now, he, is, he was with his um, grandparents by marriage. And um, things happen with that, so now he is in the foster care system. And he hasn't been in the foster care system very long, but you know, he's 17, he's gonna be aging out at 18. But um, anyway, he's with us, he's been with us probably two months now, and it's been really, really great. He's an awesome kid, he's very respectful, um, does what he's told, he hasn't given us any kind of trouble. So um, he's, he's been great. Uh, he has a job now he's been probably working at probably going on three weeks I guess um, and he's really liking the job he loves to work uh, which is great because I know there's a lot of teenagers out there that don't want to work um, so and he does he likes to work as much as he possibly can so uh, so he's been doing that um, and we've been spoiling the crap out of him because we started this adoption process probably going on a year now and we haven't yet got to adopt a kid and um, we thought we were going to and just stuff that we found out about the little kid um, we, he was just not going to be a match for us so we passed um, so we decided that we would go ahead and take in a foster kid and because initially we did not want that we just wanted to adopt and um, so we decided you know let's go ahead and adopt we need to get used to having um, a kid in the house and seeing how our schedules are going to change and uh, work and all that so um, it's been great he is a really great kid typical teenager um, he, his room in his bathroom is trash, uh, but that just seems like a typical teenage boy thing. Um, he likes playing video games in his free time. We've gotten him a cell phone, so he's um, in, he's on his phone or playing video games or doing both when he's not working. Uh, but again, he it, he does what he's told. He doesn't really have any chores other than um, mowing the yard, so he does that when it's not raining um, so uh, but now since we're doing this remodel and we have all these cabinets and things out in our garage our lawnmower is blocked in so uh, the guy that used to mow our yard we'll probably start paying him to do that again uh, at least till the remodels done so um, our our son as we like to call him he calls us dad so um, and he's expressed that he would like to stay with us even after he's 18. Um, and his caseworker and the judge, uh, we had a um, Zoom type meeting with the judge because um, there was a court date um, that him and his grandparents and his team and all that, um, anybody that's been in the foster, does foster parenting probably knows all of this and which is all new to us but um it was just basically an update just to see how uh, he's doing and um, so he expressed to the judge 
that um, he would like to stay with us. Um, his foster parents were on the uh, Zoom meeting also, which they really didn't say anything, um, but he expressed that he would like to stay with us even after he's eight, eight, 18. Um, he said that he just felt like if he went back to um, his grandparents, that it was just not going to be a good environment for him. And from what we know, it just wasn't a good environment. And I think that was probably the big part of his issues uh, was the whole environment in here. Uh, we're just, me and Tommy are really laid back, easygoing guys. Uh, we don't put a lot of, um, a lot on Deb, uh, on our uh, foster son or son, I'm gonna call him son, I don't like saying son, I don't even like calling him a kid, when I call him a kid, I'm like, I'm sorry, you're a young adult, anyway, we don't put a, really put anything on him, uh, his only chore was mowing the yard, uh, he's supposed to keep his room and bathroom clean, which um, he doesn't, but it's upstairs, we rarely go upstairs, and we're like, if that's the way you want to uh, live in that area, that's that's your mess if you want to bring friends over and they see your room and your bathroom like that that's on you and um but if we did stress to him that he needs to start keeping those areas clean he would it's just we just haven't stressed it uh but again he's very respectful uh yes sirs no sirs um he goes to work comes home He's uh, got a friend that he's known for several years that probably lives a good 20 minutes away, if not a little more. Um, so we've been letting him drive to go see him and go pick him up, bring him here. So they go swimming. The kids stayed the night the other night. So um, he just does what he's told. And uh, he hasn't yet gave us a reason not to trust him. And like we told him, we're going to trust you until you give us a reason not to trust you. And so far, the trust is there. So, um, uh, we live really close to the lake, uh, within probably two miles to the lake. So he went fishing yesterday, um, went and bought some, uh, a fishing pole and some fishing equipment and all that. So he went fishing by himself yesterday. Um. So, um, he did that. Um, but honestly, we don't see him a lo whole lot because he does work so much. Tommy probably sees him more than I do because I'm usually at work. I've been on vacation this week. So, um, I've seen him a little more than I usually see him, which is good. Um, but, he, and, you know, as long as he's doing right and, you know, working, I'm fine with not getting to see him as much as I would like to. Um, but a great kid all around. We are really glad to have him. Tommy has said that he really didn't think he would like having an older kid, but he has really enjoyed having him. Um, we have bonded with him a lot. Um, our son loves to give hugs. Tells you that he loves you. He likes to give you a bed night, uh, give you a hug before he goes to bed. If we're already in bed when he comes home from work, he will pop his head in and say he's here and um, that he loves us and that he's going to bed. So it's been awesome. Um, he's been great with the pets. Um, the video I just posted, uh, we I showed you the kitten that we bought for him. So he's been he's been pretty good with the kitten. Um, we've been having to take care of it a lot because again, Devin's uh, sorry. He's been working and uh, just starting to hang out with friends. Uh, he seems to be pretty insecure, and when it, especially when it comes to girls, he talks about he would like to find a girlfriend, but he's really insecure, so he has a hard time talking to girls. But I also think he has a hard time with making friends because he's because he is insecure and just um, 
going up to somebody and saying hey and whatnot and just striking up a conversation but this one kid um like i said he's known him for years so he's been hanging out with him um so we want him to have a so want him to have a social life we don't want him just to hang out at home and with us and just not do anything but play video games um so if he finds a chance to go hang out with his friend or hang out with other people um if we feel that they're the the type of people that um, are good people to hang out with, then we're going to be all about him hanging out with him. Uh, and so we've also been asked to foster a 12-year-old boy. So um, I think we're planning on doing that. We had a Zoom. Uh, we talked to him on the phone, um, and then that evening... We had a Zoom with him. Uh, he also seems like a, a nice kid. Seems like he's going to be respectful. Um, but hopefully he's going to get to come and, and hang out with us for a weekend. And just so we can see how all of us uh, get along. Especially him and uh, our other son. Because our other son does like uh, being the only kid. And he does like having his own room, which they both will still have their own room. They're not going to have to share a room, but they are going to have to share a bathroom. And so with the way our son keeps his room or keeps the bathroom, um, I don't know if they're both going to be the same way, if it's just going to constantly just be a mess. But we've already talked to our son about, you know, if this other kid comes and lives with us, you guys are going to have to work it out and keeping the bathroom clean and keeping your things separated so you're not fighting over one has got my side of the sink and the other's got my side of the sink or whatever the case may be you're going to have to work that out and just share that one space that's the only space you got to share you're going to have to work that out so uh so we'll see we we think we may uh, get him probably next week he'll be coming um, so we'll see how that goes so we'll have two kids um, but we're excited for both of them uh, we've been wanting a family for a long time it hasn't turned out the way we wanted because we wanted to adopt and not foster and now we have fostered and it seems like the fostering of our son that we have now is going to turn into that he is our kid. Uh, he has stressed that he would like to be our uh, legal son. Um, and so we'll, we'll see how that goes when he turns 18. Um, he's wanting to go to college um, once he gets out of high school, which he's going to be starting his senior year. And um, so hopefully that will go as planned. And uh, but that's it. That's my update on what is going on on the family front and the adoption front. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble on. And sorry, Tommy's not in this. He uh, earlier when I told him we need to make a video, he said he wanted to be in it, but he decided he was going to go in the pool and so i was like let me just go ahead and do this video but anyway thanks for watching thanks for listening to me ramble um uh, um keep sending us good thoughts and prayers and vibes and all that good stuff and uh we will see you next time in the next video um hopefully it won't be as long as the last or the long span of time before i post another video again like I've said in all my videos, I'm terrible at vlogging and posting these videos because there's usually not a ton that's going on in our life. But it's it's starting to be that way with the remodel and now we actually have a, a, a son and possibly going to have another one. So there may be a few more uh, videos that I'll be posting. But again, thanks for watching this one and until next time, peace.